After this, another man, an anchorite from the wilderness, stepped into their midst. And who might you be who clothe yourself in such raiment? The patriarchs asked him. I am John, he replied, the last of the prophets. I made straight the ways of God's Son, and ventured out ahead of that very Lord to clear the rugged and barren places into tidy paths. Mine was the finger that pointed him out to the people of Jerusalem, revealing that he was the Lamb of the Lord and the Son of God. I am the voice of the Most High, the prophet. I am going out before his face to prepare his ways before he comes, to deliver the knowledge of salvation to his people, that their sins might be forgiven them. And when I saw him drawing near, the Holy Spirit prompted me to say, Behold, it is the Lamb of God who takes the sins of the world away. I baptized him in the Jordan River with my own hand, and I saw the Holy Spirit alighting upon him as a dove. Then I heard a voice from the sky, This is truly the Son of my love, the one in whom I take delight. And he let me know that he would go down into the nether realms. And now I have indeed come down to this place, and gone before him to let you know that the risen Son of God is about to arrive from on high to visit us who sit in darkness, underneath the shadow of death. He has sent me here to say to you that the only begotten Son of God is coming down, to advise you that all who put their faith in him will be saved, and to caution you that all who refuse to believe will be condemned. So now I am here to let you know, as soon as you see him, worship him, for this will be your only chance for repentance, because in the vain world above you sin through all your idol-worshipping, and it will not be possible for you to repent at any other time. 